All right, today we're talking about one of your favorite spots, Southeast Aurora, one of the spots that I frequent often because I actually live here in Southeast Aurora. So we are going to get into detail, anything and everything that you need to know about it all on the map. I think that's super important and super cool. So you guys can see a lot of the times I'm talking about these places and you're like, well, I don't even know what you're talking about because I've never been there or I don't know like the a map arrangement essentially. So we're going over that in today's video. Welcome back to Colorado Living. I'm Nicole Baker. Today we're going over exactly that, but before we get started, you know the drill. I have to let you guys know I'm a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state. So if you've been thinking about relocating, which I'm assuming you have been since you're watching this video, go ahead and reach out. My number and email are popping up. And if you're not quite ready to reach out, please subscribe. I post videos all about the relocation process and the different cities that you can live here in Colorado. And I post those every Monday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. But let's get started in this video. <laughs> right into it. We are talking Southeast Aurora. So I'm first going to show you here the proximity to some of the major things that you're probably interested in, like how close are we to downtown Denver and the airport. So as you can see my screen now, the blue dot is me. I live in Southeast Aurora, so I promise you I kind of know it here. Here we are in the Denver area. The downtown Denver is right here. And from my house, we're about 30 minutes away. So depending on how far you're gonna go into Southeast Aurora, which I would say like major track homes, a lot of the track homes are right here kind of ending. This is a lot of acreage and things like that. But about here, you're probably maybe 40 minutes from the downtown Denver area. If you take the toll, maybe a little bit quicker, but I would say anywhere between I mean, Southeast Aurora would even be considered like right in this corner. So anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes or 25 to 40 minutes, I would say, if you're at the very end to get to the airport, which I think is an important thing to mention. And then also I wanna mention the airport. So here's the airport right here. Again, probably 25, 30 minutes, you can hop on the toll or you can just kind of take some of these major roads and head up if you wanna avoid the toll costs, which I usually try to as much as I possibly can. But either way, if you do travel a lot, I think the E470 is super easy and convenient for most of you guys to get where you need to go. Again, we're specifically trying to talk about Southeast Aurora. Aurora is literally this entire like half side, the right hand side of the state. So I would say, or not the state, of Denver Metro. It's the right hand side of Denver Metro. And so really it would take me about realistically probably 10 hours. 10 hour video to go over this entire side, but we're not gonna do that today. We are just gonna talk kind of about this road right here and down, because I think that'll be easier to really manage for you guys. So zooming in here, anything pretty much from this main road right here, which I believe is Quincy, right? Oh, I lied, airline. <laughs> airline road right here and down, I would say you're probably going to be kind of like that Southeast Aurora area. So just keep that in mind. And most of these areas all the way down here are going to be, and even some over here are Cherry Creek School District. So if you're interested in schools at all, if that's important to you, I would highly suggest checking out niche.com. I have that linked in like every single video. I would check it out. It'll give you information on schools. It'll give you information on neighborhoods. I never, ever, ever, want you guys to fully just trust in me because my opinions might be different than yours. So niche.com is cool because they have different ratings on there, whether it be like safety, neighborhoods, schools, all of the things and are, are different like ratings from other people that have lived there too. So I think that's really cool to know just for your own sake, please do your research. But I think this is a good way to start. Anyways, let's get in here zoomed in first we're going to go over kind of like the main shopping centers and as i've explained to you guys before a lot of these like light yellow areas are going to be like your main shopping areas 
In Southeast Aurora, there's pretty much one main shopping area and that is gonna be Southlands. There's a, a couple little other like outlet strip areas where you kind of have a couple random grocery stores or a random restaurant, things like that. But Southlands is definitely gonna be your major spot. And you guys have seen me talk about Southlands before, but I think it's a pretty cool spot, especially if you do live in Southeast Aurora because it kind of has anything and everything that you need to have access to. Whether you want to be at Safeway, whether you need a Home Depot, Walmart, I guess this is technically not Southlands, but basically it is. If you want to go watch a movie, there's movie theater, Petco. I think they're adding like a Nordstrom rack there. They have a, what's it called? TJ Maxx there. <laughs> they have anything and everything that you need to have. They have Sam's Club, coffee shops, restaurants, Victoria's Secret endless endless amounts of things right here which is a very convenient especially for the people that live in this area and then heading down just here a little bit we're not too far from kind of this southlands area you also have sprouts right here king supers a couple different restaurants you got a starbucks right here that i frequent quite often and they make pretty good drinks and then you have some major high schools in here i think this is what is it called Smoky Hill High School is right around this area. I'm like trying to remember all the high school names. I don't have kids, as you guys can tell. Eagle Crest High School, another big, beautiful high school that is in the Cherry Creek School District. You also have another high school right down here. Grandview, I believe it's called. You also have Cherry Creek is over or not cherry creek cherokee high school is somewhere over here in this area but again you have tons of high schools and they're very highly rated so do your research on that but we'll go ahead and chat a little bit about the different neighborhoods that you guys can get into as well that i think are important so zooming in here i always mention talents reach it's one of my first picks and something that really comes to mind when i'm thinking about uh, living in Southeast Aurora and what people really enjoy about Southeast Aurora. This is one of the top neighborhoods, not just in Southeast Aurora, but actually in the Denver metro area and I think Colorado in general, which is crazy. The homes here are definitely very beautiful, very unique, and they have kind of a, like when I say unique, I mean, they're all surrounded by pine trees for the most part. And it's really hard, I would say, most of the time to get into Talon's Reach because it is such a neighborhood that people really want to be in and when people really want to be in a neighborhood those people that are already in that neighborhood rarely leave the neighborhood right and then they're also quite expensive so i would say average price point in this area probably starting um, i mean i think you might be able to get in at like eight hundred thousand. just depends but most of them are obviously going to be like closer to that million dollar luxury price point you also have back here, right off of Talon's Reach, is going to be this other little convenient shopping center. So you have King Supers, and then you have a couple different restaurants in here. You have Taco Bell, you got a smoothie place, and I'm just waiting on them to add a Starbucks in this area because the closest Starbucks would either be like right down here or over here and i'm like okay but what did these people need a starbucks like they just need one and i need one for when i'm showing houses and it's just a little bit more convenient location nothing wrong with that right um, so that's something that i really liked about talent's reach it's just a gorgeous neighborhood occasional deer going in throughout there which is really nice as well next neighborhood we're going to talk about blackstone blackstone is a golf course community and majority of the homes have some sort of view of the golf course which is beautiful it is obviously a private golf course and has amazing stars so the clubhouse here is crazy i think they have like six tennis courts or pickleball courts they have a huge pool maybe multiple pools and you all have access to it if you live in blackstone which is really amazing and i think convenient especially for families and things like that if you guys enjoy going over to the community center which i think is somewhere in this area but i will i think i have some b-roll of that so i'll try and put that in here if not you'll see tons of southeast aurora b-roll in general and if you don't know what b-roll is it's just like when i throw in the videos <laughs> when i throw inside these videos like the overhead drone shots do you guys like that i think you do because you can see kind of what's going on but blackstone's cool for the golf course but it also is just a beautiful community in general how it works in here is there's just not a lot of homes so how it is is i can show you guys kind of like 
the, there's a row of homes here, there's some homes here, but as you can see, there's just not much streets versus like this area, right? So like you can obviously tell there's only a couple of streets, so there's gonna be obviously less homes. I think that makes Blackstone a very cool neighborhood to live into as well because it's a little bit harder to get into if you're into luxury or anything like that. That is a really cool spot to be in. Everything about it is beautiful and a little bit more private. So I think that's something that's nice, but it is towards the end of the community. So you're probably a good 10 minutes if you wanna head up to Southlands. Not a problem, maybe eight minutes if we're speedy like me, but you can also head over to your other grocery store, which I think is right here. And that's gonna be like your King Supers and stuff like that. They have a gas station. So quick access to things still, but your main shopping is gonna be here. And you are a little bit further away from the E470 where you can hop onto the freeway. A lot of you guys like quick access to the freeway. Some of you guys don't care at all. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about making the move here. The next area, hmm, I'm debating on two different areas. Do I go over my area or do I go over the farm? Hmm, okay, let's actually go South Shore. South Shore is a cool spot. Lots and lots of new builds right across the street from Blackstone. So this is gonna be South Shore right here. And I would say you're probably gonna start around at least 700 to get into here for like a smaller home, heading up towards the millions if you want some of those luxury properties. This little area right here is one of my favorites because you seriously have the most beautiful views of the Aurora Reservoir. The Aurora Reservoir is a cool spot for families. As you can see from this picture, it's just a cool spot in general because there's a lot of, like it has like its own little beach. I mean, people are paddle boarding, people are just having a good time over here. Um, and obviously it has 4.6 stars. So that's pretty good for a public space that you have to go to, right? And they have tons of trails around here too. So if you do live in this area and you have that quick access to the Aurora Reservoir, I think it's really fun and it's just a beautiful view in general if you enjoy those kind of water views. But again, lots of new homes in this area, pretty much all new homes I would say in South Shore over the last couple of years, it has really expanded and there are still some new builds for sale. I believe the major builder in this area is gonna be Richmond Homes, but either way you have access to a lot of cool things in this area and that's pretty much the same distance from all the things we talked about about blackstone and that is why i like it again and then we'll talk about one more thing actually one thing to mention southeast aurora is a good mixture like i consider myself southeast aurora but I think my neighbor probably has a Centennial zip code. So that's something to keep in mind. A lot of people think they don't want this Aurora zip code because they've heard something from someone or whatever. Aurora is massive and I would highly suggest you don't wrap it all into one spot. Southeast Aurora is beautiful, has some of the most luxury homes, has obviously one of the top neighborhoods. Do your research for yourselves and make that decision. But I wanna make sure you guys really I wanna emphasize Southeast Aurora because that's really gonna be in this bottom right corner and it is mixed into Centennial. So I'll have some people say they're okay with Centennial, but not Aurora. And I'm like, well, my neighbor's house is Centennial and I'm Aurora. So just keep all of these things in mind. And if you have questions on it, you guys know you can reach out to me. And I think that's why it's important to reach out because I can tell you exactly the all the things that you need to know because it'll be really hard for you to know if you've never been here or if you're unfamiliar with these school areas so i'll talk about copper leaf as our last neighborhood today copper leaf is cool it's going to be right in this area right next to eagle crest high school this is where i live again please don't stalk me um it is a cool area because lots of beautiful track homes ranging there's some homes that are gonna be like a town home. There's some homes that are duplexes. There's some homes that are like these cool four-story homes, new builds, older homes, a good mixture of it all. Some starting at the 500,000 price point and moving up from there, it just depends. The thing I like about this copper leaf community and just like this area in general is gonna be you're gonna have a lot quicker access to this major highway 
that could pretty much take you anywhere and everywhere that you need to go without having to pay a toll. I know it's like the craziest thing, but if you're cheap like me, don't like giving your money for whatever they use those tolls for. You'll want to be close to a non-toll road. <laughs> this highway is it's convenient sometimes. I would say that, but I don't like to spend money if I don't have to. So I highly suggest if you are planning on going to Denver and things like that, or you want to not pay tolls, you probably want to stick more in this corner right over here, closer to Cherry Creek State Park, or have quick access to this major road, which is kind of Parker Road, and then it turns into the highway. And then you can kind of get up to Denver right here pretty quickly, which is something I enjoy because I am traveling pretty much throughout this entire state, no matter where it is, I will probably be there. And you have quick access to some of the other major shopping centers that Colorado has to offer. So not all the times am I gonna be able to get everything that I need to get from Southlands. I would say rarely, just because it doesn't have all the shops that I frequent a lot. So heading down here, I'm able to get onto Arapaho really easily and kind of go to all the shopping centers that's right off this main strip right here. So you have other things like canes and other food places and cool shopping places and just a little bit different of a vibe as you head down here. It's more commercialized, which obviously is going to give you more access to just the random shops, date night things or different food options, right? So that's all right here. And then you also are gonna have quick access to the E470 if you wanna head down to Lone Tree. And we have Park Meadows down here. You guys know I frequent Parker pretty often, so that's a pretty quick, easy drive for me. Southeast Aurora is definitely one that's not on a lot of people's minds, but I think that if you're open to it, it is a great place to look, especially if you're interested in the other ones that I've talked about, like Castle Rock, Parker, Southeast Aurora is pretty similar to both of those. It really just depends on the vibe that you're looking for, but that is why I tell you guys to reach out. In all my videos, I would love to help you guys. You guys know the drill. I am a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state. So before I end this video, I want to offer my services to you guys. If you have questions, my number and email are popping up. I love assisting you guys. I have a few of you guys that were actually looking in like the Parker Southeast Aurora area right now. And you are all pleasantly surprised on how much you like Southeast Aurora. So I think that is really cool. If you are interested in that area, again, reach out and if you're interested in Southeast Aurora and you want to learn more about it, I'm going to post a couple of video options for you guys. If you want to learn more about it again, just click on those or check out my channel. You'll have tons more information. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. But until next time, if you have suggestions on videos, put those in the comments. Mm, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.